Well, today I'm going to work on trying to get the parts out of the knee that some people have been asking about. So, uh, decided to bring it up to the house and uh, have it closer to the tools because I'm not sure what I'm going to end up using to take this apart. Right now it looks like there's two set screws in here that I could see. And this shaft looks like it moves independently of this gear over here. So I'm thinking if I take these two set screws out, I might be able to get this shaft to actually come out this direction. So I'm going to try that. Well, I can't figure out what's going on here. I can't see uh, an Allen head or a regular head set screw in either one of these holes. Even though at least one of them looks like it's threaded. I can't imagine it's a pin. It wouldn't be a pin going through. Because there's no hole on the opposite side. It's a blind hole. And also, uh, this shaft actually needs to rotate. So, you can't have a pin going through it. So, I still tend to think that this has something to do with retaining this end assembly right here and keeping this shaft from coming out. So, I'm going to try and uh, drill these out. And uh, as long as I don't go too deep, I might end up damaging this outer gear here. But I really don't need that right now. I'd like to try and save the shaft because somebody might need that shaft. I'm not sure yet. Well, I figured out how to take this shaft out. You uh, take out a set screw on this bevel gear and then the shaft will slide out that way. Now I see a uh, screw on a collar right down in, you can see it, down in there. Right there, there's a screw, which appears to loosen that collar. And then I think once that collar is off, then I think I can unscrew this whole rod right here, out this way. Ah, so you gotta make sure the table, the saddle is all the way out. Uh, well, actually, you wouldn't probably have yours hanging upside down from a loader, so it wouldn't make a difference. Uh, but what happened is as soon as this unscrewed the saddle slid down to its stops there and came out kind of violently but no damage done and now you can see that now that this is unscrewed from here all I have to do is keep turning this Acme thread this feed rod and I can unscrew it completely and then once I unscrew it I'll be able to get that gear out and so, so far, so good. Well, I actually can't get that gear out after I slid the uh, shaft out. The gear falls down behind there and it won't physically fit through between this wall right here and there. And there's a hole in the side here, but it's way too small to make it of any use to, uh, as far as getting that gear out. So that gear is not gonna be able to come out until it appears that this assembly is out of the way. You know, not knowing exactly what to do next, I noticed these little holes here. This looks like a uh, spanner nut, and so I tapped on it with the punch, and sure enough, that's unscrewing. So I guess we'll unscrew that and see what happens. Well, that shaft does not want to come out just by unscrewing that spanner nut. So uh, it seems to be that I'm back to the problem of, it, it appears like I've got to get this saddle off in order to get any of those other parts out. It looks to me like there's a bracket that holds that shaft that's got screws probably screwed into it under the saddle here. So once I get the saddle off, I think I'm going to be able to expose some screws that are going to allow me to unscrew that, uh, that bracket. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping. So I think I've got to get the saddle off. And again, this gear has to come out, I'm pretty sure, to get the saddle off. I think that's what's holding me up right now. And I just found a big clue. There was a screw on the back side that I didn't notice before and it was right here and when I went to take it off it was very loose and it turns out it was just the head of the screw was was stuck in there and the screw had broken off in this hole and then when I looked at this hole and tried to figure out what the purpose of this hole was it's got a slot it's a slotted hole and it appears like there is another hole I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but down inside there, it appears like there's another hole in the proximity of where this gear is. So my theory right now is that if this screw is removed, 
which of course broke off so I'll have to drill it out or torch it out. Uh, then you're supposed to put a long screwdriver or Allen wrench through that hole and then it will go into another hole which maybe I don't know it's kind of dark in there Let's see if I get a flashlight I do with the flashlight all right so I shine this this lights not very good I shine this light in there there's okay see I can see threads I can see threads at the Definitely that's the bottom of a bolt, so I think I'm right about those bolts being hidden under the saddle. Uh, but there is a hole up there that almost lines up with where a screwdriver would uh, go into. It's kind of hard to see it, but right in there. So if I got a screwdriver down in there, it'll, it'll go into a hole right there. So my theory is that there's a set screw in there and that's what keeps keeps this gear from coming out. Well, it's the next day and I'm back to working on uh, this assembly here again. And uh, I got some good information from uh, a gentleman named Reed. He's one of the people who's interested in buying some of the parts. And uh, he gave me the trick to uh, removing this shaft right here which is that in this hole right on the side here, deep in there is a, uh, a very long set screw apparently. All right, so I've got the set screw loosened and doesn't seem to want to turn out any further. Uh, now there's a little Allen set screw right there that I'm gonna have to loosen to move this gear up so I can get the shaft to come out. Okay, I got that set screw loose and then I uh, gently tapped on the, at the back of the knee, I gently tapped on the end of the rod with a drift and was able to push this bushing out. And now this gear is off of the key. It's a key gear. So now I think if I bring this, this is the gear that was on the other shaft. I couldn't get it out before because the stuff in the way and see now it just comes right out. So I'll leave that over there. Now I should be able to move this shaft all the way out the front. Oh, bushing's not quite free. Tap it a little more. So here I am at the back of the knee and I'm just using a dull chisel as a drift to push that through. All right, so I got that all the way out. That bushing just comes right off. Got somebody who needs that bushing. And they need the shaft which now, let's see, obviously the shaft's still not going to come out until that big gear is off. How's that big gear going to come off? Is that just pressed on the end of that? Looks like it might be. Let's see. Yeah, it must just be a press fit on that shaft, so uh, I'm going to need a longer drift to stick through that hole and Hopefully I can drive that through without damaging that gear. All right, this is a little tricky because you got to drive that shaft out, but what happens is the whole gear wants to go that way and it actually starts to get on the side of that oil tray thing. Let's see if I can, uh, see if I, if I push this down, you'll see it actually ends up going past that and we don't want that. So what I did, what I just had in there just fell out. So I've got a big old bolt. Let's see if I can get my hands in there to get it out now. And I want that to fall down and where it fell in. All right, so I got this big old square bolt. And if I put it in there just right, I can actually get it to act as a brace. Kind of has a habit of wanting to fall off. But, see, I'll set it right in there just like that. And then what happens is, now, I got this old trashed mill, but it makes a great drift. So I can stick it through the hole here, and I can tap on that shaft, and the gear won't be able to move forward because the bolt's blocking it, and so the shaft will slide out. There we go, and now the shaft moved for, far enough forward so I could take this gear off. And now, I 
think the whole shaft is free to come out now through the front. It's basically the only thing that was holding it from coming before was well now what's holding it is I don't know if you could see or not but there's a bunch of grease and debris actually stuck in the keyway slot there so I need to scrape that out. Alright so now the whole shaft slides right out and this gear will end up falling off. Oop, get these off before they fall down and get lost. Okay. <laughs>